everybody, welcome back. Um, today I've got a tutorial to share with you on how to turn this 9x6 envelope, we've all got those in our stash, into this. This is an 8 pocket um, insert for your junk journal and I think that you're going to really enjoy this. It's a quick and easy project so let's just sit that to the side if you want to skip this, I've got time stamps in the description box below. Um, but before we get started on the tutorial, I've got just a quick little chat and share. Um, okay, so this is a paper that I have discovered at some of our little shops here in California where we're working. And I really thought that this would appeal to most of my viewers. So, um, next. I don't know how you pronounce that, Natakua News, um, but as you can see, ladies, this is totally up our alley. Look at the font, look at the images. Um, when I spotted this paper, I just knew you guys would absolutely love it. So let me first of all just try to zoom out as far as I can because I want you guys to get an idea of what this little paper is. I mean, just beautiful fonts, beautiful stories from the area. Some of these go back. Um, there's some um, recipes. I found a couple of recipes. But I just wanted to do a quick little flip through so that you guys could see. Uh, look at this. Uh, Mark Twain. I, just a wonderful little paper. Look at this image here. How beautiful is that? Um, and as I said, I know at one point, oh yes, summer desserts. Look at this. This is from 1776, the Complete American Housewife Recipe. It's got custard, fruit salad. So the reason I want to share this to you guys is, is two things. Um, <clears throat> How beautiful would these images be to do a transfer? And what I mean is the um, the tape transfer, where you can take an old image, put transparent paper tape on it, and then you just um, run that under water and you pull off the layers. Now this is one. This is the first attempt I ever tried, um, and I've just put this in my art journal. But I'm going to actually be using these papers for some of those. Um, but I wanted to share with you the most exciting part of this. For those of you who love this um, and can see yourself being interested in this, I'm going to do a close-up. Because look, you can subscribe to this um, and I want to just do a a real close up there. So if you mail a check with your address and phone number to this address, you can subscribe to this little paper for $25. I think you must, it must come out quarterly because this has got July through August and then this one is August through September. Oh, actually, no. They must do a monthly. Wow, I think that's really, really good value for that. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I think that's really nice. When I get settled, I'm going to hang on to this. Look at this. This is from Harper's Bazaar in um, 1869, that image. But I thought how cool to be able to take that and maybe turn that into a journal cover. Um, but when I get settled, I'm actually going to subscribe to this because I just think it's so exciting. I mean, that's not very um, nice that one but look at all these little images these will just be so great to use in our junk journals <laughs> so there you go ladies you're welcome <laughs> um, okay let's get on to today's project let me share with you what we're making out of a 9 by 6 envelope so what I've done here is created this little insert for our journals, so you've got one pocket here, 
this opens up. You've got a pocket here, a pocket here, a tuck spot, a pocket here. You flip this over and you've got another pocket here here and here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the tiny little pocket here makes eight. I just am so happy with how this came out. Um, this is my idea. I have not seen anybody else do this. So, um, it's very unusual that um, I can come up with something that hasn't been done, but to my knowledge, I've never seen this done. So, um, so let's just get started. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is just take this envelope and trim off the very bottom. And you can see I'm only taking a, probably an eighth of an inch off. And then along this right side, you're going to just take a sliver. All you're trying to do is open up this envelope. So so now that's going to open up like that. I'm going to put this on the scoreboard. Oh yeah, let's get this little metal clasp off. If you purchase these from the Dollar Tree, um, these... <laughs> uh, these normally just pop right off. But of course, since I'm doing a video, I mean, honestly, the last two were not even really on. Um, isn't that just the way... So yeah, you're going to want to remove these um, little metal bits. There we go. And don't worry, we're going to cover all of this with paper, which is probably the, the longest part of this is going to be going back and covering it with the papers. That, that does take some time. So now that I've removed that, I'm just going to score this. at three inches because it's a six inch envelope you're going to score that down the center at three inches and then turn it fold your little flap over now if you have a, a different type of scoreboard you wouldn't have to do this but I don't know this is a really weird one um, so I'm just going to, then from the top where your flap is, you're going to come down and score this at four and three quarter. And then again at five. And just make sure you've, you can see those on both sides. If you can't, just flip it over and just reinforce those. Okay, so now we've got this opened up. The first thing you want to do is just cut your little flap in half because you're going to be creating two pockets now. And then with it back up to the right side, all you're going to do is along each of these score lines, you're going to cut up to the first, the very top score line. So you're going to go all the way up. So I'm going to try to do this where you guys can see. Hopefully the lighting will show this. Don't worry that that's come loose. What we're going to do is go back down with a bead of glue to just um, hold that back down. OK, 
Okay. So I'll just zoom back out now. And so before I even start folding it, I'm just going to go ahead and go along this with a little bit of glue. Because I know that will bother some of you if that's flopping around. I mean, I can work with it because I know in the end it's going to all get covered with other paper anyways. <clears throat> so, um, what I do is just now come back, fold these on the score line, and I'm only using this as another little guide because I want to trim Trim that off so that this is going to be our flap. <clears throat> so all you're doing now is just bringing this envelope back around to create a pocket on this side. If you flip that over, you've got another pocket here. And when we get this glued together, it's going to create a pocket here as well. And then these, you will pull up to the first score line on the first fold. And you can adjust these pockets. Um, the last one, I just trimmed some of this off, and I'll show you how to do that. And then the other one you're going to do on the second score line. Flip that over and do the same thing here. <clears throat> Fold it on the top score line for the first pocket and on the bottom one for the second pocket. Now this second one I fold down. That's going to create a little tuck spot and the eighth pocket here. But don't glue anything down until you've covered it with paper, <coughs> which I'm going to start doing now. But at this point, guys, um, I know some of you don't like the music, um, but I'm because this is such a long process, at this point, I'm just going to have you watching me, and I'm going to come over with music. So I hope you'll enjoy that. If you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you can just go to the end and see the completed project. So...
Okay, I thought I better just um, talk you through this portion of it because I, I don't want to get too far ahead. So all I've done now is just put a little bit here to cover that bit. I've done this and then I ran a bead of glue along here. And at this point, you can now just glue on the two sides and that's going to form the other pocket. Okay, so now you can see we've got a pocket here, and then now we've created the second pocket, the third pocket, and here is where this is going to be your fourth pocket, the tuck spot, the fifth pocket, but on this side I want to now trim these down because otherwise it does make it really close to that first pocket line and so I just chose to trim off about probably half of an inch and all you've got to do is just flatten this back out you don't have to cup these two different times just put it through one time and just take off whatever you think I, I'm taking off about a half of an inch and now what that's going to do is just give you a little bit of space here which I think is really nice and then we'll come back and just um, cut those out after I've covered everything with the paper um, yeah I don't know where my example is okay I'll show it in a minute but at any rate I'm just gonna carry on all I've got to do now is just cover this portion of with paper this side with paper this side with paper and then here you're going to want to put some paper under and on top here um, so that you've, you've got everything covered nicely and here I actually think I will trim a little bit off of that one because that's still very close so I'm just going to go ahead and take about a half of an inch off of that as well The nice thing about this project is <clears throat> if you wanted to, if you don't want the flap on this side, you could just create four pockets, um, but I thought it was nice because it offers me a tuck spot and another, another little pocket there, so um, I'm just going to snip that off. So all we're going to do is just finish off getting this covered and then before I glue it down I'll come back and talk you guys through that.
right guys so now I've covered all of the bits that are going to be showing and we're just going to do some of the little finishing touches I'm just going to notch these out you saw I already did that on the other side um, so now we're just going to get these glued down And for the little tuck spot, you're just going to glue along this edge and right here. And then this time, I'm actually, because I've papered, I've, sorry, I've covered behind that, I'm going to do another little notch just on the little, um, Actually, I'll do that really quick. On this little, where the little pocket's going to be, I'm going to notch that out as well. So actually do that before you glue this down. Okay, and now all I'm going to have to do is just put a bead of glue along this edge. Yeah, I think it looks nicer with the little notch. Um, and I'll just grab this little tag. Now, if you want, you can finish this off, which I probably will, actually. Um, I think it just, it'll just look nicer, I think, to do that. You could round the corners. Um, I didn't do it on this. I'll probably do it on a future one. And now, because these projects are never perfect, I really do love these little sanding blocks that you can pick up at uh, Walmart. And <clears throat> this one's from the Dollar Tree. And they do really work nice. So I'm just going to sand off any imperfections. Now back here on this side, the first thing I'm going to do is just glue this first pocket along this side and over here. It's not a very straight line. <laughs> it's so hard doing this, uh, these videos in such a small space. Got a little bit of glue on that, and hopefully this will show up slightly better here. But you can see, you can just take this so many different directions. You could have glued these three sides and had another pocket over here or on the opposite side. There's a lot you can do with this. But it at least gives you the base and then you can just start playing around with it and take it and add your own little ideas to it. So I'm just going to ink the edges up. This one's going to be very uh, shabby. Shabby chic. Um, I know somebody's going to be asking about the papers these are from cotton, uh, cotton and twig. I don't recall the kit. I'm sorry. It's just I've bought so many of hers. It's very difficult for me to remember which kit they come from. But um, it's cotton and twig TX on Etsy. Uh, I don't design for her, so I, I'm not going to put an affiliate, or I mean, I'm not going to add a link, guys, because I don't um, design for her. I purchased these um, with my own money, so, um, but it's Cotton and Twig TX. All right, so that is where we are with that. Um, so we will now start to embellish it. Um, I've got to add the little
coin closure to it and then just fill it with some bits and pieces so you can see but yeah I'll keep this little tag that's going to be perfect in there yeah I'm very happy with how that's come out I will actually finish this once I've added these little closures um, because what I've decided to do this time I've only got a one and a quarter inch punch and really I think it's a little bit too big I think it should be either a three-quarter or an inch mo at, at, at most um, it looks a little bit big on mine but I don't have any other options and because of that I've decided I'm gonna keep the same paper so that it will hopefully blend a little bit better I wasn't really happy with how the first one um, I think it's just too big so let me just find the coordinating paper. Aren't these just beautiful? I love these colors. They're very, um, very vintage looking. I just love this kit. Oh, this was Granny's. Granny's. Granny's something or other. It's come back to me now. So I'm just going to get this. Um, glued on. I'll ink it, add a brad to it, and finish this off, guys. And again, I'm sorry, um, but I'm going to have to put the... this is just a, a process where you can watch. Um, the reason I'm having to do this, guys, is because we're at 105 this week, and it's too hot for us to sit here with no air conditioning. And if the air conditioning's on, believe me, it's way more annoying than music. So thank you guys for your patience. On
Okay guys, I'm um, sorry about the disjointed video today. Um, so I have just went ahead and embellished this. Um, I was thinking this would be a really nice little happy mail to send to somebody. And so going inside, I've just added a little scrap paper and I've stamped different images. I thought that would be really nice to send to somebody. Um, again, you saw the little tag. I've just stamped something on there. Um, and then in these pockets, I just thought it would be nice just to send a selection of just little tags and journal cards. Maybe that you've made. This one's just a scrap piece, bit of paper, and I thought it kind of coordinated nicely with this. So I've tucked that in. Um, so I'll leave those out. And then over on this side... Again, just different bits of ephemera that you could send to a friend. And then they can use it um, to either just journal little notes in this, or they could just use it in another journal. I just thought it was a really fun little project and um, something nice to add to your journal or as I said send out into some happy mail which is what I am gathering up and getting ready to do I don't know if I told you guys the dimensions on this when it's completed so let me just do that very quickly um, <coughs> so this is three inches by five which will work in a full-size journal or if you're like me and you like the mini journals this will totally work as well so there you go guys um, just very quickly I want to just go over because it <clears throat> I've had a lot of problems with the filming today and I just want to go back over again um, a recap this is a nine by six envelope you're going to score down the center at three inches. Then you're going to turn it, score at four and three quarter and five inches. And then this is what it's going to look like when you cut. You're going to have these four flaps. So there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. And I'd love to see if you create one of these. Just use my... Um, Use hashtag the Firefly Studio 67 and I will check it out. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.